Good morning once again from NASA's Johnson Space Center. This is Mission Control Houston, a view uh, inside the International Space Station Flight Control Room as a team of flight controllers watches over systems aboard the orbiting uh, complex. The team uh, today is led uh, by Flight Director Ed Van Sice. He is uh, serving as the uh, lead for the team, uh, overse overseeing this team uh, throughout the daytime hours uh, here in Houston, which is the uh, essentially the uh, midpoint of the crew's work day uh, on orbit. Uh, joining him is uh, veteran astronaut Anna Fisher. She's handling the communications link between the uh, Houston Flight Control Room, uh, the team here in Mission Control, and the crew on board the International Space Station. The uh, ISS is uh, tracking around the Earth every 92 minutes at an altitude of about 250 statute miles, just about to move into an orbital sunset off the coast of Somalia, tracking southeasterly. Uh, we'll take it uh, high above the northern coastline of the island of Madagascar and then out over the Indian Ocean, and then uh, skirting along the uh, western coast of New Zealand then out across the Pacific into an orbital sunrise. The uh, crew on board the International Space Station Expedition 31 is uh, made up of Commander Oleg Kononenko. You see in the center of the picture on the uh, right in this view is uh, European Space Agency astronaut Andre Kuipers from the Netherlands. And on the left is astronaut uh, from the United States, Don Pettit. All three crew members have previous flight, space flight uh, experience, and uh, they're now um, in their 141st day in space, 139 of those aboard the International Space Station on a long duration mission, headed for a total of uh, about 193 days before they uh, return home uh, on their scheduled date of Sunday, July 1st. On this uh, Wednesday on board the station, the uh, crew is focusing on a number of uh, activities around the station. They're spread out in uh, three different locations with uh, Don Pettit uh, uh, working with some cargo transfer from the automated transfer vehicle number three, the Eduardo Amaldi, supplied to the station program by the European Space Agency. He's also been working a great deal of uh, time in a rack associated with the combustion uh, experiment on board the station as well. Uh, he's been working with swapping out one of the uh, uh, fluid uh, tanks associated with that uh, that uh, piece of hardware that takes up almost an entire rack assembly uh, inside the station's Destiny Laboratory. Kuipers uh, spent the day uh, cleaning filters in three of the U.S. Uh, connecting nodes and also uh, uh, working with the Japanese uh, Kubo Laboratory, straightening it up ahead of the arrival later this summer of the third H-2 transfer vehicle that's provided to the International Space Station program by the uh, Japanese Aerospace Exploration Agency. And Commander Oleg Kononenko is um, working in the Russian segment of the station. He's been using a countermeasure system to take readings of any harmful contaminants in that Russian segment, uh, the Zvezda module, which is, serves as the command and control uh, function of the uh, Russian segment of the station.